means it's the second. Zero means it's the first. In one of the world's most competitive economies, racing to get ahead is fast becoming a national obsession. We are a nation that doesn't have all these natural resources by our side, so we have one which is just up here. Zero, zero, two, zero, Congratulations. It's better than striking all three. <laughs> Money you can be made, but school spaces you can't get. Ultimately, the race is a very short race because everybody's jostling each other to get to the front. Enrichment classes, music, math and more. The race to success in Singapore is on and it starts very early. I want to be a billionaire. A ballet dancer, a single pilot. When it comes to playing with his prized toy collection, the six-year-old Lao Ding An is spoiled for choice. Well, my favorite toy. Uh, They're gifts from his doting mom and dad, but his parents are working hard to give this preschooler something even more valuable: a head start. Ah, Next year, Dingen will join 38,000 other seven-year-olds as they begin six years of primary school education in Singapore. It's important to his parents that he starts off in the right school. For rent, for sale. <laughs> this is District 10 where some of Singapore's most expensive homes are situated, with real estate priced as high as 17 million US dollars, and for a good reason. Property prices around the good schools are definitely, you know, uh, rocket high right now. But this is not where the Laos live. Very farmer for my house, so I'm going to move house. The family is contemplating moving into the district to up the chances of Ding En getting into a premier school here. Yes, yes, we've scoped around the neighborhood, you know. I have heard a lot of people that moved uh, into the school district to get a higher chance of uh, admission. If you stay within the school district, within the one kilometer zone, definitely gives you a, an advantage. That's one of the official qualifiers from the Ministry of Education for admission to a school. It's proximity to a child's home. Kids living within a one-kilometer radius have an advantage. One school the Laos have in mind for their son is Nanyang Primary. Its alumni boast many Singapore business and political elite, including the current Prime Minister, Lee Hsien Loong. This 94-year-old institution is a bastion of prestige and its students consistently make the top 10 in annual national exams. We chose Nanyang uh, heavily because um, our niece uh, was in that school and we see how she blossomed, how she's being cultivated by Nanyang Primary. We like how she turned out, so we feel that if our child can follow the same path, uh, we foresee good outcomes. Mike and his pal take but for first right child right. candidates like Ding yes, En, whose parents right. have no existing ties with the school, the he odds are stacked pal, against them. Like, like, How the Singapore Primary One registration works is that space will be allocated to um, siblings, the current student's sibling, then children from the former students, then whichever leftover will be available for children that have no connection to the school. 
And like any premium primary school in Singapore, the limited places are highly sought after. Singapore's annual Primary 1 registration exercise subjects parents to a nerve-wracking two-month process to get their child a coveted spot in their school of choice. Unexpected okay, to have uh, such an exciting moment here. And for perennial favourites like Nanyang Primary, where oversubscription is certain every year, parents have to hope for the best at the ballot box. I mean, everybody knows it's a popular school, it's not easy. It's better than striking lottery. <laughs> Money you can be made, but school spaces you can't get. That's how tough it is. <laughs> Very tense. <laughs> Interest, of course, yeah. You just call for your child's number every time they pick up a piece of paper. <laughs> we told, we her, told it's, her it's just a trying yeah. game. But someone has to be the unlucky, right? 0020 the primary one admission is a rite of passage all Singapore children, or rather their parents, must go through. It has a dramatic impact on a, on a child, which environment they are settled into. Many parents look at primary one being the first year opening to formal education as the gateway right, to the next. So, I think the belief is that if you start the child right, he or she will have an easier time. It's a six years education, so I think the primary school actually plays a very important role because that's the only thing we can maybe try to do for him. The rest is really up to him already. It's important for me. Why? Because my dad told me. In this city-state, one of Asia's fastest-growing economies, one of the most considered investments many parents make is their child's formal education. In Singapore society, and in most Asian societies as well, we see education as a very important route to upward social mobility. And of course, it's not just having basic education, right? it is about excelling. So every parent is eager to make sure that their child is ready for the race, well prepared and standing as close to the front of the starting point as possible. But getting in a good primary school is not the only way parents are helping their preschool child gear up. is a morning ritual for Anthony Lau. In the morning, your hands are very stiff, right? So you need to warm up your hands so that you can play the piano. The six-year-old began his music classes over a year ago. His mother's hopeful her investment in the piano will pay off. <laughs> Focus is a very important thing to be able to excel in anything well. You, and, the, and that is something that I'm hoping music will train him up as well. Wait. What should I say? Posture. Posture. Anthony. He has to learn that eventually as well, that if he wants to be good in anything in life, be it his studies, be it his play, or be it his music, you have to focus and you have to practice. Spirit fingers, yes or no? I need the fingers to be circulated. And practice and practice until I get it. Two, three, four. Huh? Okay, huh? you missed already, never mind. I'm tired. No? I have to sleep early. You must sleep, then you have to be on the bed. Up. <laughs> Anthony usually spends at least 15 minutes practicing every day. I'm going to walk off already. One, two. <laughs> Mommy, 
tired already. Hey, let me rest for one minute. You don't need to carry you over the whole house. Go. Mama, let me work one minute. Only rest one minute. Only one minute. Yes. <laughs> He's still very boisterous. He's still very mischievous. It's so funny being on the floor, right? Yes, I know. Ah, now go. Good job. A Tasmanian devil. <laughs> Storm off. Go ahead. Mummy is a T Rex. Mummy T Rex. I see mummy very fierce. <laughs> I see myself as a very concerned parent who loves her child very, very much and who wants to just give him the best and who knows that he can achieve others, he can achieve all his potential because he has so much inside him that is just left untapped. I still like piano, of course. University graduate Rowena gave up a well-paying job to become a full-time mother. It's allowed her to focus on nurturing her children. Ah, uh, see? In less than a week, Anthony will be taking part in a concert organized by his school. I wish that I get the toy world. Toy story. I can get all the toys I want. Then have you practiced a concert song? Ah! <gasps> you only practice one time? Is that going to... Practice a hundred times. Is that going to get you better? Is that going to get you any better? For the performance, it matters that you play well. You see, you can't even play your concert song properly. Yes or no? You must be at your best. You must showcase only your best. When they give their best, they will feel a sense of achievement. They will feel a sense of confidence that comes with the fact that they have reached that level. That sets them to achieve another target that, that is good for them. It's not an easy path, definitely, but it is one that I see um, as a parent, my role to undertake to help them to the best of my ability, including nagging, scolding them and pushing them. I need to be good. Get that mommy angry. And elsewhere, parents are sparing no cost in making sure their preschool children have a better head start in life, even if it means paying close to what a university education would cost. <laughs>